What happens when you combine an outdoor rain gutter garden system with an indoor gravity fed hydroponic system? What do you get? Let's find out. What's going on my planet peoples? I am the ADHD gardener where I use gardening, house plants, and humor as a form of mental health therapy. And you already know I'm in my dad's house because he has another system going on. Now, if you heard by the intro, he has an outdoor rain gutter garden system. Now I have done videos on that before. I'll drop links down in the description below. And also you've seen his indoor gravity fed hydroponic system. And I'm also gonna drop that link down below. But what happens when you smash both of them together? What do you get? This is what you get. And I'm gonna get him to explain exactly what's going on with this because this is actually kind of clever. He does have that indoor gravity fed lettuce hydroponic system and it actually worked out really good. He has a lot of salad growing on. But I want to know why he even came up with this system in the first place. Oh. Uh, because. Uh, <laughs> because, Jackie, uh, we always get over ambitious. Yes, we do. We are always over ambitious when we do yeah. stuff. So, I, we, you know, we start thinking, why not grow stuff indoors that is going to like fruiting? Like, yeah, because uh, we're bored. Beans, in the tomatoes. We tried the carriage. Remember the carriage? Oh my gosh! You probably got a clip of that somewhere, right? I did of my uh, that and of my failure of my carrots. Well, we I had good success on them, and they were doing good, but I got overrun by aphids, and I uh, just could not. They won the battle. That's for later on. Yeah. But my we question: the battle of the aphids oh, and nets and spider mites and, and spider thrips. Mites. And mealy bugs. Yes. Oh, so, my God, I could do a whole video yes, on just so, bugs. Oh, hold on. Let's start with why did you switch it up? And to fit it in here like okay why did you use the tubing what, uh, what's different why you know yeah just well uh, the tubing i thought it might be cheaper than the uh, fence sleeves okay. turned out to be almost the same almost the yeah same. you right. start adding this and that and all that it was it was about almost the same thing but i thought it you know longer now nah, the tubing the sleeves are 100 inches also uh, same so, crap anyway i uh, same crap but as it turned out, it worked out pretty good for my um, stuff that I'm going to start for the rain, rain gutter. gutter. And that's where the rain gutter comes yeah, into because, play. As you see, I have the buckets, right? Yeah. I have cherry tomatoes, right? Yes. Which did okay, but in about, oh man, less than two months, they were already over running the place. They were. Yes. I, that proves that it worked out pretty yes. good. Yes. And the carrots were huge too in two months. And then, and then they get hit with spider mites. Right, and then I didn't have time to wait to put them outside. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. my, my, my program now is going to be to start them in April 1st, about six weeks before they have to go outside. Okay, so your plan is to start your buckets in the rain gutter system yes. in here inside of the basement early. So when it comes time for spring season outside, you are gonna put these buckets outside right, right and transfer outside them the into rain. the rain gutter system. Yes, exactly. Oh See? man, that's smart. And uh, the tomatoes I will not be able to transfer or things like this, but I'm starting to uh, grow some suckers like you did in your house, right? Oh, that's an upcoming video, you guys, yeah, for next so week. I'm cutting suckers off the tomato plants and putting them in there. That's so smart. They're gonna go outside eventually, these are um, nine and a half, look, 9.9. .9. Nine feet, nine inches, two, bottom 10 footers, four inch. All right, so this is a nine, What? what I'm, I'm reading this right here. Nine foot, nine well, inch, tube in needs. They come in 10 footers, but when you cut the end off, you know, the, the other end has like a, you know, when you couple them together, Okay. So you just cut that off. So it's almost... It has an end piece on here. Oh, yeah. I, I think I have the video for this, but I got to find it. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is how I drain them. This is how I drain them when I want to clean them. But I haven't had to do that. So it's been working out great. But this is what I'm looking forward to. You added the two by fours only so you can kind of like brace the, the buckets. Right. Because I'm going to yank this whole thing out and take it outside. Okay. What? Yank the... Well, of course. Yank I'm... the tube? The big PVC? Unless you want them. <laughs> oh, I'll take them because I have my own yeah, plans. I'm giving up on this. Um, it's not because it, the system doesn't work. Because it does. No. It's Proven. The, the electric bill has gone through the roof. Everybody, it does. I'm sure everybody's experiencing the same thing. Oh, okay. Question for the YouTubers is, why did you use the round ones instead of the square ones like you did the last time? Uh, Chang Chang? Oh, <laughs> they were Money. cheaper. Oh, uh, yeah, they were cheaper. These were only $15 and um, the square sleeves for yeah. the 4x4 tubing, fence tubing. That was like 30 bucks. 
They're more than that. And with the caps? Oh shit, that sounds expensive. Comes to 50 bucks. Oh. What? I didn't fasten these yet. <laughs> oh, so they're loose. <laughs> I only have a screw on the end, so don't mess oh, with them. Oh, much. sorry. No, Wait, no. Well, they're, they're, I have they're... to get some pipe straps. Oh, okay. And tighten them up. I have to tighten, I have to tighten them up. They put nails. All right, so you, <laughs> you put screws. It works. I mean, it does work. Just don't mess with it. Just don't mess with it. These were seventeen dollars. I was lucky to get them. Well, that's not bad. A big shortage, and then plus the caps so were like three fifty each. Okay. And this all comes in one piece at Home Depot. Well, no, no, it's three different pieces. Oh shit. Three yes. pieces. Oh, and that. Half this inch, and half this. inch plug, half inch coupler, half inch to half inch inside, half inch outside. All half inch. Half inch. Okay. Yeah. Good to know because uh, on, yeah. Then. They just drain the water out. Uh, right into a bucket or something. That does not exist in your in the one in the kitchen. No, but since this is very large and I have to eventually clean them. Right, right. All right, you give them a little modifications, but that's not bad though. You're just doing a larger scale version of what you have in the kitchen. Yes. With a little modification. Got it. That's not bad. So yeah, and, and I'm also very anxious to try the uh, ring gutter, the net cup. Notice I use three inch instead of two. Everything else. Yeah, that is it. true. You use bigger than than over here for it looks. I could have probably still used two inch. No, I think the three would have been good, especially for a bucket. And then all you did, of course, to even it out. So well, you could put... on this one, on this one, because I am using. Hang on. Oh. The outdoor rain gutter system. Ooh. It comes inside. So this is. Another another version of I mean, a rain gutter. gutter slash crack key slash I don't yes, know. But what's gonna happen with this? I'm hoping to grow carrots indoors now. Oh, carrots in the bucket. So you're gonna yes. have this row just yes, carrots. It's gonna be wicking up. Yes, it's gonna be wicking up into here for carrots. Oh okay. man. Now, okay. let's say the carrots are delayed like usual. Yeah, like four right? months. How about the peppers that are gonna be here? They have an arrows. They say they take four or five months. They do. But I should be able to, the ones that I'm gonna have here, I'll just be able to pluck it out and put it out in my outdoor gutter. Ooh, wow, that's smart. Yeah, put it out there. Now, the ones here, I'm not, but the ones that I'm gonna have in the um, in the wigging system, yeah. that should be able to go back outside, especially Ooh. with the uh, carriage. That's smart, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. not only that. Oh, you set up the tubing. Oh, okay. That's the same reverse osmosis, which I said I was going to use myself. Yeah, my bad. Oh, look at that. Hey. Yeah, I'll give you a quick, quick tutorial. Yeah, do it. that. All right. First, we have a 17 gallon tote. Yep. All right. We Just have. like the uh, the indoor lettuce one from last time. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna drop it down in the link below. All right, the rest of it, well, here we go. The 17 gallon tote. What is this? Oh yeah, that's to check the oh, water. Like water level, so, you, so that way I can just look at it. Then, the inside there. Yep. That is basically this, this part of the, um, of the flute. Ah, okay. oh, you unscrew that, and then that's what you put inside of this tube. Yeah, I I put this part, this part. I put this part through there, as you see there. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then this part on this side. You see, you have to have a place to screw this. Look, this little thingy, <laughs> this little thingy, the uh, reverse osmosis tubing. Okay. All right. So now. One thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pour some water in here. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have to plug this, or else water is gonna come shooting out of here. Yes. So we have to put a tube in here. I have to put a tube in here, okay? And that tube is gonna require the shutter valve. See, I find this to be too much for me. I, you know, it's just too Initially. many small, small moving parts. Too many of them, Initially. and then. No, but watch how easy it's gonna be. It's watch just this. so tedious. No, 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 look. Oh, make sure you use a pipe cutter, a tube cutter, look. Nice, clean, square cut. Oh, that's nice. Okay, you have to have that. Because if you don't. I don't, it's called, you go to your dad's house and use his tools. <laughs> no, 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 look, look, just pops right in. See? 
just pops right in, reverse osmosis. Now, you wanna put this in the line and make sure you hit a pop, okay? And now it's off. Now, we can test. Yes, I, I want this system, I want this tubing set up for tubing the next great. system it I have. Nice and neat look. It does, it looks really neat. Mine, nice neat. Mine's all over the place. And you can just pop it out anywhere. And if I want to feed that, and not only that, but once everything is fully loaded, I could just leave it shut off there and monitor. Maybe I want them to go down some, you know what I mean? Maybe I'm running some ceilings and I want it to run a little higher. I shut the other ones off, see? Oh, what did I forget there? Did I forget I shut off there? I don't know, do you? Look at the other ones. Oh, wow, you're right. Yeah, That's you right. don't. One, two, three, four. There's gonna be one more somewhere. <laughs> oh, so, so you can add it. So if not, add if not, but technically you have a floater, so once it reaches, it's not going to, you know, kind of keep what flowing. What if a little piece of debris comes down in there and plugs up? Oh shit, yeah. Something. Yeah, then you'll overflow. And then it'll overflow, see? This morning before you came, I had put water in them to test them, okay? Mm -hmm. And also to find out how many gallons of water. How many gallons of water in each uh, one? wrote it down. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's four gallons. Four gallons? Four gallons for um, two and a half, two inches. Two and a half inches, look. Right there. Four gallons of two and a half, all Watch. right. So I dip it in there. Let's say, oh yeah. See, that's see smart, that. doing that. Ah, yeah. oh, see, that's smart. Okay. That there, okay. Yeah, that's how I test them all the time. I, I just dip that in there. So right now, I'm I like hoping. your setup. Now this looks uh that this looks pretty cool. Cause they need. I got a hole on the side here. Remember, like the last one, to adjust the uh, float valve. We're at our max. Okay, we are are at max. I have opened this up, and this is no longer. Okay, we know okay. how much water does each tube hold? Originally. Originally, I was going for four gallons. Okay. Four gallons, it would give me two and a half inch depth in here. Okay. Now, that is no longer the case. Because of the because amount of, of because right. Of now these, no problem, because these, they just drop right in there. And it'll go all the way down to the bottom. See, so I don't need two and a half inches of water. Four gallons will be just right for a 10 foot, uh, this is nine. Yeah, and besides, you can control the float, so you yeah, don't have to really worry about that. Yeah, and I can add from here, but I'm trying to do it all automatic, so I don't have to. Mm. Okay, so, but now, I believe I'm up to about five gallons. On that because one. of the ring gutter system, I need to get old. Look, I'm all the way up. Super high. I'm all the way up to the super high. Okay, so now let's see if the other ones are tripping. Oh, good. Okay. See this one, of course, you don't have any balls in there. Man, that sounds funny. But look at, yeah, it makes all your roots exposed and it definitely just top heavy, so. See the size of this noodle? It's like two and a half inches. Where this uh, other noodle that we were using was maybe two inches. Yeah, you it's see? a little smaller, yeah. Yeah, so now this fits nice and snug and I also made it longer, so boom. You could just, you could just grab and go, like another plug and play salad, and plug and play. I'm afraid that this is gonna suck up a lot of nutrients. It is. To keep this peat moss moist. moist. It is. So, yeah. Uh, Plan B. I thought about that as, I, as it was filling, it was sucking up my whole thing. Well, first, I, I watered them outside. Oh, I have an idea. Wait a minute. Go ahead. First, I filled them outside. I got a little short video on that. Uh -huh. I, made, I made this. You remember the old hack? Yeah. So, I made a long one, two of these. And as I went, I fill them up and water them, water them, another layer, water them, so they see how they went down overnight? Yeah. Um, so that it would not require that much water when you put them in. But and that means you gotta maintain the, the moisture, amount of moisture. Well, no, once you, once you, um, once you fill it up, you, you see what I'm saying? Once it's totally moist, it'll wick. You have to make sure, oh, and then I let them sit overnight. You know, so that it would really drip all the way through. I got a little, I made a little video on that. All right. So anyway, you have to be fully moist. Now, my whole thing was, these have to top off. Today we're gonna do carrots. 
You know what? I have an idea for this solution. Why don't you have a separate container of water just for the back row? Like another one of those, but like one of those water reservoirs, but just for this alone because it may okay. suck up more than. I could do that. I could do that. But since these have floats, these are not gonna be sucking up that. You know, what are only only what's required. You know what? This could be like your station to start your seedlings yes. for outside. Yes. Look at the size. I love that pool. Look how big it is. Let me see. Just, just. Oh fit. damn, that did fit pretty good. Yeah, it fits right in there. Now even this could be too early. This is only the first of March. It is. Two more months, this thing is gonna be overrunning. I'm gonna have to get more suckers out of this one. Mm -hmm. Cause this is fresh. And you'll you'll never have to start seedlings uh, seeds again for tomatoes. <sighs> Lord have mercy. I just want early tomatoes and I want early peppers. I don't care what I gotta do. And early carrots. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you got some good information out of it. If you have any questions or even some anything that you want to talk about with this, let me know down in the comments below. Have you tried a gutter system? Have you tried a gravity fed hydroponic system? But what happens if you want to even try this system? Let me know down in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video and you want to show me some love, then don't forget to smash this like button. I really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't already, then consider subscribing. I drop a video every week and then some actually twice a week. Also, you can catch me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm on there all the time. You can drop me a message. And as usual, until the next episode, you guys, where you and me both are going to be growing our happiness one plant at a time, one day at a time. I'll check you out in the next episode. Peace and love.